Liberation, y'all. Okay, listen. I've been saying, watch the dailies, watch the weekly I put up. And if you don't know who I am, I'm Michelle. This is Angel Souls. This is an angelic message. There's a lot going on in the next 10 days or so. So oh, the there's going to be a moment of confusion. And then some, there's going to be some sort of epiphany. And then there's going to be a resolve. And I feel like this is part of the resolve is the liberation behind all of this. It's going to feel so freeing to not have to worry about what you've always worried about. It's going to be so freeing to have a brand new perspective. It's going to be freeing to not have to constantly feel like you have to craft some version of you that either protects you, helps you manipulate people, or that pleases others. You know, there's a lot of different reasons why people would have a facade. And it's not always to manipulate it. It could just be like I need, I was saying yesterday, I need to act tough. Why? So no one messes with me. I need to pretend like I'm okay. This is, oh, this is such a big one, guys. Especially these days. People saying they're okay when they're not okay. And then people always have this thing of like, oh, we never saw that coming. Because our empathy is broken. Because you can tell. You can absolutely tell. Now, whether you can do anything about it or not, you can try. We always want to try, but the soul contract is the soul contract. It's not like predestined necessarily. We have free will, but if you're paying attention, the problem is, is we've been trained to be self-centered and we've been trained to think that other people are burdens. Do you know how often I have people come to me? And they are in the darkest of places because they feel like a burden. Because people who can't emotionally regulate, people who are disconnected from their own spiritual truth, they don't remember who they really are. So yeah, you're going to be overwhelmed by your own existence. But then you think you're the only one that matters? How many of you have been treated like that? Leave your comment down below. You're getting liberation from that. You're going to realize that that's the split. It's the split we've been talking about for years. It's finally here. It's finally obvious. I have used this example a couple of times, but I found myself in conversations where it literally feels like we are in two separate dimensions. We're not understanding each other or someone's trying to play some sort of energy game. Um, they're only thinking about themselves. And so, you know, they may take action that could diminish someone else's energy just because, just because they need to feel powerful or just because, again, the self-centeredness. Watch out, some of you. Watch out, because the liberation is not coming for you. If you have not been kind, if you have not been pure and honest and all of those things, you're going to have to sit back and watch how other people are liberated because they no longer feel tied down by judgment or by confines, uh, definition, they're like predestined life. This is how you're supposed to be. This is who you should be. You're going to get stuck. And that's the 3D realm. And here's the worst part about that. A lot of people who are fifth dimensional and higher souls that incarnated around this time to help lift up the frequency of the earth, um, they've done their work for the ones that could hear the message. So not wholly and completely, but a lot of their jobs are done. What are you going to do when the conductor leaves the station? <laughs> what are you going to do if you didn't get on the damn train? Now, I'm not saying you, you agree with us, you hop on the bandwagon or else. Like, I'm not trying to say that. Just an analogy, okay? Let's calm down. But I'm, I'm saying, like, what happens when you have for forever taken advantage of someone's kindness? Or you've taken for granted someone's warmth? and goodness and then it's not there anymore because they get to move on to a different kind of existence and no it's not going to have much to do with external 
markers of success. It's going to be how they perceive things. And boy, is that going to bother a lot of people. And those are the same people that are going to stand up and try to remind you why you shouldn't be happy. Why you shouldn't feel okay with yourself. You're not buying the story anymore. And I'm very happy for you. AngelSouls444.com. We're going to leave it there and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.